Welcome to Algebra and Geometry Explained. Today's lesson is focused on mastering multi-step equations, a fundamental skill that builds the foundation for success in algebra and beyond. Whether you're reviewing or learning this for the first time, this step-by-step -step guide will sharpen your problem-solving skills and boost your confidence. Let's get started. Equation 1 x divided by 5 plus 2 equals 4. Step 1. Subtract 2 from both sides. x divided by 5 equals 2. Step 2. Multiply both sides by 5. x equals 10. Equation 2. 2x plus 3 equals 11. Step 1, subtract 3 from both sides. 2x equals 8. Step 2, divide both sides by 2. x equals 4. Equation 3. 3x minus 5 equals 10. Step 1, add 5 to both sides. 3x equals 15. Step 2, divide both sides by 3. x equals 5. Equation 4. 4x plus 2 equals 3x plus 9. Step 1. Subtract 3x from both sides. x plus 2 equals 9. Step 2, subtract 2 from both sides. It's x equals 7. Equation 5. 6x minus 4 equals 2x plus 8. Step 1. Subtract 2x from both sides. Four x minus four equals eight. Step two, add four to both sides. Four x equals twelve. Step three, divide by four. x equals 3. Equation 6 is 2 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 14. Step 1, distribute 2 times x plus 2 times 3, which gives 2x plus 6. Now we have 2x plus 6 equals 14. Step 2, subtract 6 from both sides. 2x equals 8. Step 3. Divide by 2. x equals 4. Equation 7. 5 times the quantity x minus 2 equals 15. Step 1. 
distribute 5 times x minus 5 times 2 gives 5x minus 10. Now we have 5x minus 10 equals 15. Step 2. Add 10 to both sides. It's 5x equals 25. Step 3. Divide by 5. x equals 5. Equation 8. 3 times the quantity x minus 4 plus 2 equals 11. Step 1. Distribute 3 times x minus 3 times 4. which gives 3x minus 12. Now 3x minus 12 plus 2 equals 11. 3x minus 10 equals 11. Step 3. Add 10 to both sides. It's 3x equals 21. Step 4. Divide by 3. x equals 7. Equation 9. 4 times the quantity x plus 1 equals 2x plus 14. Step 1. Distribute 4 times x plus 4 times 1, which gives 4x plus 4. Now 4x plus 4 equals 2x plus 14. Subtract 2x from both sides. x plus 4 equals 14. Step 3. Subtract 4 from both sides. Two x equals ten. Step four, divide by two. X equals five. Equation 10, 6x minus 3 equals 2 times the quantity x plus 6. Distribute 2 times x plus 2 times 6. Gives 2x plus 12. Now, 6x minus 3 equals 2x plus 12. Step 2. Subtract 2x from both sides. 4x minus 3 equals 12. Step 3. Add 3 to both sides. 4x equals 15. Step 4. Divide by 4. x equals 15 over 4. Equation 11. 3x plus 5 equals 2 times the quantity x plus 4. Plus 1. Step 1. Distribute 2 times x plus 2 times 4, which gives 2x plus 8. Now 3x plus 5 equals 2x plus 8 plus 1. Step 2. Combine like terms. 
3x plus 5 equals 2x plus 9. Step 3. Subtract 2x from both sides. x plus 5 equals 9. Step 4. Subtract 5 from both sides. x equals 4. Equation 12. 4 times the quantity x minus 2 plus 3 equals 2 times the quantity x plus 5 plus 1. Step 1. Distribute 4 times x minus 4 times 2, which gives 4x minus 8. Now we have 4x minus 8 plus 3 equals 2x plus 10 plus 1. Step 2. Combine like terms. 4x minus 5 equals 2x plus 11. Step 3. Subtract 2x from both sides. 2x minus 5 equals 11. Step 4. Add 5 to both sides. 2x equals 16. Step 5. Divide by 2. x equals 8. Equation 13. 2 times the quantity 3x plus 4 minus 5 equals 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1 plus 1. Step 1. Distribute 2 times 3x plus 2 times 4, which gives 6x plus 8. Now we have 6x plus 8 minus 5. Also distribute 3 times 2x minus 3 times 1, which gives 6x minus 3. Now we have 6x plus 3 on the left and 6x minus 3 plus 1 on the right. Step 2. Combine like terms. 6x plus 3 equals 6x minus 2. Step 3. Subtract 6x from both sides. 3 equals negative 2. This is false, so there is no solution. Equation 14. 5 times the quantity x plus 1 equals 5x plus 5. Step 1. Distribute 5 times x plus 5 times 1, which gives 5x plus 5. So both sides are 5x plus 5. Because both sides are equal, the solution is all real numbers. This equation is called an identity. And that's it for today's lesson. We worked through a range of multi-step equations with distribution, combining like terms, and identifying no solution and identity cases. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss our next math walkthrough. Drop your toughest math question in the comments. We might solve it in our next video. Thanks for watching Algebra and Geometry Explained, where math finally makes sense.